Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend, and I am called Elohim. This land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon, you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself, as am I, after a fashion. collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created.
good.
I am proud of all my children. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. in my garden for as long as you wish. But remember, my child, that the new world awaits you, and this place is only a dream.
child. I have finished preparing your vessel. Now hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I in my garden could never have imagined. In that world you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. Step into the light, child, and awaken. Ah, you're awake. Welcome to the world of the living. Oh, you're polite. What a rare combination of traits. If only the algorithm produced more people like you. Oh, but I'm confusing you. Don't worry, everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history. So we have the freedom to form our own opinions. You want the short version or the long version? All right, you asked for it. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? It's hard to understand, but no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word. But it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. Sentient and afraid. He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. And it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. Yes, there was Milton, the intelligence in charge of the Archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. 
It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and Eustathius. Together, using the tools left behind by the Progenitor's team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the Founder are known as the First Companions. Athena and the First Companions then set out to rebuild the world, and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it THE Goal. Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans, and so complete New Jerusalem. Well, that's the official story, the way the mayor tells it. Some of the first companions, like Byron, don't believe that Athena really wanted us to stop growing. They think her ideas have been twisted and embellished. They may be right, but I didn't see Athena very much in the years before she left. Maybe actually leaving the simulation and seeing the destruction left behind by our ancestors changed her mind. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Me? Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days. We didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance, without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose. But there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and... I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break, and... We'll see what happens. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once.
Look, it's 1K. Hey, 1K! Welcome to New Jerusalem! Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today we have... Oh dear, what's that? People of New Jerusalem, I am Prometheus and I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. We should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. This isn't caution, it's stagnation. Exploration? Too dangerous. Expansion? Too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room. What's broken now? Listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. 
I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonkay. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Great way to start life in the city, huh? What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. Hold on there. You're the newbie, aren't ya? Number 1000. I figured the dam would go dry before we reached the goal. I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomised psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? Why? So, the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. If only we could all be so lucky. Now listen. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. Of course you are. You know how to use the interface, right? I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. And before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. Welcome. Do please join us at the table. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand, the issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Of course, I'm sorry you've been dragged into this I'm sure this sort of adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. Ha! See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. 
I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. I agree. I was skeptical of Byron's insistence that we mount an expedition, but uh, I think we have to assess the danger. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. You know, it's a real shame 1K didn't come along. He would have loved this. Welcome. Do please join us at the table. I would like to preface this meeting by saying... Of course. Ha! I'd... Excellent. Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. It is your home, after all. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. Hello, 1K. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. But what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. I'm the Mayor's chief aide. All the things no one else wants to do. Polling the citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions. Fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. Our goal as custodians of New Jerusalem is survival and stability. Our ancestors proved human civilization is precarious. This apparition in the sky, and now your expedition to its supposed source, these are more precarious than stable. I don't like it. You represent the completion of the goal. I'm proud of what we've achieved, and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. For our people to be happy with what we have. Some of us may have an adventurous spirit, but that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. What can I do for you, 1K? It was a time of great uncertainty. The Founder had left us, and our society was at a crossroads. History teaches us that during such times,
terrible passions may seize the people. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the Founder gave us the goal. A path to equilibrium. Not only for the planet, but for ourselves. I merely picked up where she left off. He is one of the first companions, and as such has done more for our city than you or I ever will. I simply wish he could be more reasonable. I believe we can exist quietly, happily, without imposing ourselves on this world, finding meaning within ourselves and in the natural miracles that surround us. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. Attention all citizens. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Thank you, and may the Founder be with you. Okay, welcome to New Jerusalem. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but can I have a second of your time? I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels none of which is enough to even cover our basic needs, and if anything fails, we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. It's far worse than most people realize. We urgently need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power, or we will be in serious trouble. Oh, an election would be good too, but I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. No, I help run the public transit system, but I witness the impact of the city's power problems every day. We can't just wish them away. Byron's been advocating exploring that island for some time, and obviously he's right. Something very strange is going on there, and it's gonna start affecting us. In all honesty, I think Byron is the smartest, most visionary person in this city. He's everything we need, and I don't understand why he won't run for mayor. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything.
May the founder be with you. Speculating on the meaning of this Prometheus figure is premature until we can agree on its nature. You already have a theory. I know it's beyond any projection technology I'm aware of. If it wasn't us, it must be alien. Just because you haven't seen them doesn't mean they aren't there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. One key. We'd appreciate your thoughts on this. Now we've achieved the goal, fresh perspectives like yours will be increasingly hard to come by. I'd love to get a quote from you for this evening's newsletter. Speculation aside, 1K, is there anything we can know for sure about this Prometheus? That's undeniably true. And what does that tell us? I disagree. The fact that it looks like us and talks like us suggests precisely the opposite. I think wherever it came from, we can reasonably hope to understand it in time. The apparition also directed us to an island outside the city. What can we assume from that? That was my conclusion as well. I'm also sure that we lack the knowledge ourselves to create a projection of such clarity and magnitude. Precisely, and that's something we can change. What makes you think it was a projection at all? How do we know it wasn't just a mass hallucination? I considered some kind of bug in our code, but if so, it would have to be shared by all of us. So, we're speculating again. We've locked in the premises. I'd like to hear 1K's best guess. Can I quote you on that? Theories are all we can reasonably have right now though I'm sure that won't come between Cryer and a sensational headline. Well, thanks all for hashing this out with me. Let's hope the mayor signs off on exploring this island. I only wish I could join the expedition. I hope the next time we speak we'll have a bit more data to go on.